Very excited that we are now in the 19th festival. Do you believe that? 19 years. How many of you have been here since the start? I mean, here we went, you know, from, yeah, I know, some of you have been every year, and thank you for that, because without all of you, we wouldn't be in our 19th year. And not only are we in our 19th year, we are 53 days this year. So um, a, lot of, a lot of just incredible things going on. And uh, first I want to talk a little bit about the beverage. Um, you know, the, the beverages that we have today are a representation of all elements of the festival. I mean, we have so much going on at the festival every year. Um, even here in Intermissions uh, Cafe, which is downstairs. And uh, the uh, Moscato that you're drinking right now, it's a peach Moscato, relatively new um, from this particular company. And uh, we thought it would be fun to start your day with that. And then the tzatziki martini, how, how many of you tried that? You have to try that. That is something that's brand new. I, I, we really like trying to do these savory type of cocktails. And so this is a combination of an organic cucumber infused vodka and then with a yogurt um, flavored type of spirit. And then we mix it with a little lemon juice and simple syrup and then finishing it off with a little bit of dill and really unique flavors going on. Um, one of the things that we're finding out with a lot of cocktails is yes, for years, the, we were doing a lot of the fancy ones with you know, sweet, a lot of sweet, but we're really trying to do some fun things around um, cocktails that are also the savory element of it. And then we have two wines, a Chardonnay from California, and then the Paperboy um, Red, which uh, this is a unique project that this company started. And it's instead of using a bottle, they're using a plastic type of bottle and a paper um, covering, and it's more of an environmentally friendly type of um, uh, packaging. And we're seeing a lot of places right now are doing that because, as we all know, there's a problem with glass recycling. People think that glass is being recycled, but unfortunately, it's not, you know, doing, we're not doing that. So um, a lot of these wine companies are coming up with really um, inventive ideas of being able to do some environmental friendly type of packaging, just like the wine on tap. You know, that was something that was introduced to the state of Florida last year. And this year downstairs, once again in intermissions, we're featuring King's Estate, Pinot Noir, and a couple other. We've got four different types of, um, of wine on tap. And then also over at Liberty Inn, which is one of our um, quick service restaurants, we actually have two over there. It's the first time that we've actually done wine on tap over there. And so we're really trying to encourage guests, you know, to have that uh, premium wine that just tastes delicious. I mean, you could pair it up with some of the, the great foods, especially over at Liberty Inn. They, they just redid a, did a whole new menu, which is just amazing. And, um, you know, it's a way that you're having a great glass of wine, but you're really trying, you're really um, having, you know, uh, an input in, you know, environmental um, aspects because now we're doing the wine on, on tap. And the wine does taste really good. Has anybody ever tried the wine on tap? As I look around? Because it is, it's, it, you know, you taste it and a lot of people think it's like a jug wine and it's not. It, it really is great wine. It's just packaged differently. And then uh, some of the other things that we have, um, one of the beers today is from the Florida Beer Company. Um, I always love to support our Florida local, and this is one of the um, German-style pilsners that they um, created, I think it was last year. And uh, once again, uh, you know, every year, the, this particular beer company, as well as many of the other beer companies which are represented throughout the festival, we really try to find a lot of fun, new, different, so that um, each one of our guests can have a great learning experience about not only you know, wine and spirits, but now, craft beers. And one of the big kind of really exciting things is um, this year for the first time in the state of Florida we have mm Hops. And this is the beer that is affiliated with Hanson, the band, which will be here in a couple weeks. And um, they started uh, crafting beer, I want to say it was about two years ago. And um, we had talked with them, you know, because they've been coming to the Each the Beat concert series for many years. And uh, it took a little bit of work and efforts, but you know we whittled away at it, and we finally, in uh, I want to say June, um, was able to get it approved for the state of Florida. 
And then we were able to get it here at Disney um, for the first time. So this is a beer right now is only here at the festival. And so if you wanted to taste that, that's going to be over at Fife and Drum. And um, it's, a, it's a delicious beer and, you know, kind of the mmm hops. It's got a hoppy, <laughs> hoppy taste to it. It's a lot of fun. But there are so many different um, beverages located throughout um, the promenade and, you know, some of the places like here at the Festival Center. I could talk forever about all of them. And um, the thing is, is that all of you in your packet, you will have the passport. So, you know, make sure that you take a look at the passport and there's so many different things you don't want to miss. Um, a lot of things that are new to the festival. Some of the things that are, are things that were here last year. The s'mores is back, everybody like that. And then the pineapple dole whip with, uh, in instead of going with rum, we did the uh, creme de coco, which, you know, has a nice uh, white, white chocolate kind of over the, uh, the dole whip. And then um, we have a beautiful San Juan Breeze, which is over in Puerto Rico. If you want it just by itself, it's a nice non-alcoholic um, refreshing with grapefruit juice and um, some other fruit juices. Or if you want that adult libation, you can pour a little rum over it. So a lot of things you know, going on from the beverage. As Chef talked a lot about the different food elements. And then we've got the Eat to the Beat concert series. Um, some great new bands uh, that are going to be here this, this year. Um, Last Lonely Boys is one um, this this week, or, or no, they're actually towards the um, middle of the festival. Uh, Boys to Men will be returning again. Uh, when I looked at the each of the beat concert series, there's country, there's you know Disney favorites with uh, Jim Brickman, uh, just so much. Our entertainment team did an incredible job with the lineup, and once again, that's in the festival uh, passport. And then we've got some special packages that we did this year. Um, we're trying, you know, a lot of different things. We see that guests love to have fun with our festival. So on Thursday evenings, we've extended that fun until 1 o'clock in the morning. So guests can purchase an additional um, ticket to be able to go to this um, fun activities where there's marketplace, a couple marketplaces, actually I think it's six marketplaces that are open. And there's going to be DJ, live music, just a lot of fun where guests can, you know, extend their uh, adventure of the Food and Wine Festival until 1 a.m. And then we also got a VIP um, package that is for our resort guests that are staying here where they can get some really nice amenities and special um, treatment, you know, during the festival. And once again, it's for our resort guests. And those are, um, that's also an additional cost for that. Um, I'm trying to think, there's just so much going on with the festival this year, um, and uh, you know, there's culinary demos, beverage seminars, mixology is returning, um, and then we've got many different culinary uh, presentations that are more of a dining experience. The first one was yesterday, uh, the Food for Thought, which is a new program, and Chef Norman Van Ecken, which is here, and he's in the back. Um, and he'll be able to answer some questions. You know, it's so exciting to have Chef Norman a part of the festival. He's one that was a part of the festival years ago and has been so busy doing so many things that, um, you know, I mean, this man, he, he's never stopping. I, we were talking earlier um, kind of about, you know, the past 30 years and 30 years ago, you know, he was doing things that are so cutting edge. And I remember the first restaurant that uh, my husband Scott and I went to was his restaurant in Coral Gables when we first came here to Florida. And, you know, the cuisine that he was doing back there was so unique. And, and now it's become a trend that people, it's not, I don't even want to say a trend. I, it, the infusions that he, he was doing years ago has now become a part of what people are looking for. You know, and it, it's just amazing to see what he's doing and to be honored by having him be a part of the festival this year. So like I said, he's going to be in the back um, or he'll be uh, around to, to talk to anybody if you have any questions about what he's doing. He's got a great new book that's a, his memoirs that um, he'll be doing a book signing later on after his demonstration at 1 o'clock. And then Chef Myra and Chef Jens had introduced, she's from Puerto Rico, and she's going to be here all 53 days of the festival doing all kinds of different demos and presentations and just a lot going on. So um, once again, I, I encourage you, you know, take a look at the passport, take a look at the festival guide. You know, there's a lot of things going on with the festival this year. I hope that you enjoy your media day today, and then you'll be back, you know, because the festival is ever changing. There's all kinds of different things going on that's, um, that's unique for the whole 53 days of the festival.